everyone. Happy Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh my goodness. Early on Wednesday. We're here early. You know, we're switching it up. This is not going to be a new live time. No. We are making a special exception. Sadie is headed to Nashville after the show today. So we're like, we'll just move it up and have a jolly good old time, maybe with the morning crew. Absolutely. Maybe you never have got to attend a live stream. So that is, if that is you, be sure to go ahead and drop us a comment. We are so, so excited to have you here today because we are doing some Dollar Tree crafting. And this craft is one that it's not expensive. Oh, you have no. all the materials. More yes. than likely, you have all the materials. Yes. But it would be so cute to go ahead and put in a little holiday basket Love for, it. like with cookies and stuff for a friend. Oh, yeah. So cute. Super cool. You're going to get a like head start on your Christmas crafting. We're so, so excited for you today. We are promoting our dollar deal here where uh -huh. you can join the membership for only one dollar. One dollar. You get 20 download credits, seven day access. I mean, what do you get any more for a dollar these days? It's five cents a download. So five That's cents a download insane to font me. or a file, which is incredible. So super, super excited. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but I would be going after those fonts yeah. and those files that I know that yes. I can manipulate with 10 different <laughs> put things in it. Exactly, exactly. So it's seven day access. If you don't cancel after seven days, you're now a monthly member at $27 a month, which is still an incredible deal Absolutely. because you're getting unlimited downloads of over 15 or 14 or 15,000 cut files, close to a thousand fonts. And we are just so, so excited to have you guys there. You'll have access to the Cricut 30 day challenge. You'll get the commercial use access after you become a member, like a monthly member and it is super, super exciting. So yay, welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. Yesterday, Lauren and Courtney announced that our workshop that I taught on Saturday is now available. If you missed the live version, mm -hmm. it's now available on replay. You get instant access to that yes. training. Instant, and one of the things that I now still, I, listen y'all, <laughs> I'm gonna talk it up yeah. all the time because so it good. was such a good training just a good general training for everyone. Yes. Really good training for those that are thinking about wanting to sell, but in all honesty, like it's it was just a good training, yeah. like life training. Yeah, it was so good. We called it the Recession Proof Your Side Hustle Workshop, but if you are a business owner, you would get a lot of value out of this. If you're on the fence about being a business owner, I would say it's designed, like the entire three hours is designed for you mm -hmm. specifically. And if you're just struggling, it's $27 and it's an amazing workshop. So I think it'll definitely help you shift some things and open your perspectives with some tools that have really helped me and my own like business and my mm -hmm. own walk in general. So such a great workshop, $27. There's not many times throughout the year that we have low ticket yeah. products like this. So it's such a great, you're getting probably, it's probably one of the best values when you think about all the teaching, all the curriculum, you get a worksheet, you get a workbook, you mm -hmm. get um, our uh, recession proof, your side hustle. So like we take your in household income and then we create and pull out the inflationary numbers. Yep. Just really good to be aware of. It's great to build awareness and to maybe use that as your North Star, as your goal with your side hustle. So you get a spreadsheet that is super customizable. Uh huh. Again, $27, super easy. You We're can't so, beat so excited. It. We have our price increase on Maker's Gonna Sublimate coming up too. So we have like two or three things going on. So That's right. definitely take what you need, leave what you don't. Uh -huh. And we're super, super excited. Today's the Dollar Tree Craft Day of the week as well. So we're so excited. I feel like every week we end up doing like some dollar store craft. You yep. guys just love, I know. love, love, love the dollar I store. Know. And for those that are not aware that maybe you didn't see it yesterday, Alicia did have her oh, baby. Little baby. I got Georgia. to go snuggle little Georgia Aww. yesterday and she's just the sweetest. So, so sweet. we will did not Did she be... have a bow in her hair? No, she had on a little cat. She had Aww. on a, like a little knitted hat. She didn't That's have a bow so on. Sweet. 
but yeah. she was literally the most cuddly little I thing ever. That. Um, so Alicia will not be with us for the next few weeks. Yeah. It'll be me and Tanner and me and Woo-hoo. Courtney. So much fun. We cannot wait. It's going to be a good time while Alicia gets to snuggle her baby. I know. She needs to. Y'all know she was about to pop any day. Uh-huh. Um, and it was almost her birthday baby, but she came just a, a, just an hour or two later. I, to- <laughs> I told her, I said, that is true second child fashion. Yes. Stubborn and wanting her very own day to herself. Yes. Yes. So now they'll be like birthday sisters. So much fun back to back. So that's super, super exciting. So yay. I love it. I love it. How are y'all? Erica, Donna, Lindsay. Uh, oh my goodness. So many of our friends. Hope you guys are doing so, so good. Um, we're super excited for today's project. I will spoiler alert. It's very easy. It is very easy. Super simple. We're working with some fun material. Let's head over to the craft table yeah. and just dive in supplies wise. So before we dive to supplies, this is what we're making. It's super, super simple. We're using what they call the paddle cutting board from the Dollar Tree. So this is a dollar twenty-five. Um, super easy investment, right? And we're just taking it. Adding a Maker's Gonna Learn cut file. So if you join, if you're not a member and you're like, ooh, like, I, I don't know if I should have joined. I've been following for a few months. Like, I don't know. For only a dollar, you can literally try out our platform, figure out how easy it is to download files. You can do all of that for only a dollar. So that's why the dollar deal is available right now, just so that you can try and make sure that you are getting what you need. Does that make sense? So you can poke around the website, you can download things, you get 20 download credits. So for only a dollar, super easy, low ticket investment. We can look over um, and at this file. We have, out of our 15,000 cut file library, I will tell you at least 2,000 of our files are Christmas themed. What does that mean for you? That means you're getting a ton of files that are ready to go and ready for you to make with this holiday season. And the way I like to look at it is Christmas is a deadline season. There is a deadline because when Christmas gets here, it is here. When we look at crafting in general and you think about decorating for fall, like, you know, fall is just kind of like a time of year. There's no deadline. Christmas, there is a dead set deadline, which is December 25th. So I just want to invite you to start taking action right now for a dollar and you're going to get all of the uh, Christmas files that you need. Mm-hmm. Say you cancel uh, your dollar trial, you still have 20 you know, downloads from us that you get to keep forever. As well as if you're a member, anything you download, you get a personal use license for mm-hmm. forever. So you will always have something to show for your membership here which is always like one of our best parts of our membership. We're just so grateful to be able to do that for you. So yay, I'm super excited. Dollar Tree again, we are using, let me tell you what material we're exactly using. This is- One of them is uh, that one. Yes. The one that Courtney used on that one. Yes. I don't remember what brand that is. The other one I'm pretty sure is- I like it a lot. This one is probably, we're just using two like specialty materials. This isn't technically the glitter. It's like printed glitter, which I honestly prefer because it's not going to flake. It's not super, super textured. It'll be really easy to cut these, like spoiler alert, nothing crazy. Since we used this one on here, let's just go overview so you can see it again. This is what we used on our sample. And then we're going to use this other one. I brought the both of those in there because I really felt like you, I I felt like you would have gone more toward the holographic. Yeah, this is like a holographic glittery one while this is like just your tried and true glitter, okay? So whichever one you want, again, you probably have something in your craft stash already that you can use. If you only have black vinyl, use black vinyl. If you only have red vinyl, use red. If you have glitter, perfect. Super, super awesome. Okay. So we did have a friend say, uh, Maniac Grammy's Homestead, I need help to learn my machine. Hello, my friend. Um, you are definitely in the right place because yes. within our, we obviously we give you 
lots of great free education here on our yeah. channel. But within our membership, we also have a 30 days to master your cricket. And if you're looking for the book, I will try to go find you one. <laughs> no problem. We don't um, need to get it today. But we, where we walk you step by step through getting your cricket out of the box, yep. learning how to use it. It is self-paced, yep. self-guided. You do it at your own pace. Um, we think that we did set it up as a 30 days because you do yes. one small thing it's every single so day. Good. But we've had people that have gone through this training in like two days. Yeah, someone they told completely me, learned their someone machine. Someone wrote in that they joined the membership, they took the 30 day challenge, which is included in your membership. So you could take it within three or four days. It is segmented, like Lauren said, in a 30 day cadence. But what that means is there's 30 videos inside here. You get this book digitally and you get each video set up as its own course. So it's super awesome. And we're just gonna walk you through opening the box, setting up your machine and setting up design space, teaching you Cricut terminology, because let's face it, if you don't know the terms, if you don't know how to do what we're talking about and you don't know what it means, you're not gonna be able to learn. So I teach you terminology. We give a very thorough tour of design space so you just know um, and all of the things like that. So super, super fun. Again, the dollar trial is a seven day trial. You get 20 download credits and it, at the seven day mark, it would just renew like you're a monthly member. You have unlimited downloads at that point. So congratulations. Now, but one Again, thing that I do want to be clear with the seven, with the dollar trial, mm -hmm. They don't get access to the 30 day challenge. They, they just get... may or may not get access to the 30 day. Oh. You just never know. You might have to join and find out. So head over to there my courses go. after you join for that dollar and take a look. There also used to be for the dollar trial, no access to the Facebook group. You do have access to the Facebook group for the dollar trial too. So we try to like just take really, really good care of all members and there it is you super, go. super exciting. So again, incredible deal get in while you can. It's only available this week. So love it, love it, love it. Cannot wait. Supplies wise, again, very easy. So like we have this right here. I'm just gonna take this label off, but you're gonna need this from the Dollar Tree. Pick this up on your next trip. Probably the only thing you need. They're also, they also have at the Christmas house. These are also just ribbons from the Dollar Tree. We can go overhead and look at these. So you just have these two patterns. Love the idea of doing two patterns here. What we're going to do is use our Lynn Lily to position the ribbon just like this and make it super simple for us. Again, not hard at all. You'll need your vinyl, you'll need a Cricut mat, and you're going to need your Maker's Gonna Learn file. All right, my friends, so let's go ahead and take a look at Cricut Design Space. Here's what we've got going on today. So we have two different files right here for you. You can choose either one of these, Merry Christmas to all and all a good night, or have yourself a Merry Little Christmas. Again, Maker's Gonna Learn has 2,000 plus Christmas files. So when you're here at makersgonnalearn.com and you're at our cut file library, what you'll be able to do is go and find that certain Christmas category. As you can see here, we do have some fall images that just got added. You can see the cowboy Christmas. You can see uh, the howdy Christmas. Let's go ghouls. I mean, there's so many. Um, it's the most pumpkin-y season of all. I love, love, love that. Hey, Shelly Daniel, so excited that you finally got to catch a live stream. How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me know if there's any other first time crafters hanging out with us today. Um, Howdy Pumpkin, Lauren, this needs to be on a sweatshirt, the Howdy Pumpkin, like what is up? Spooky vibes, take me to the pumpkin patch. Yes, please. I need to do little onesies or little shirts for my twins at home. Um, so it's super fun. So let's just head over to that Christmas category. It is so good. Again, we've tried to organize these files to the best of our abilities for you all at home. And where did you find the cutting board at Dollar Tree? You find it in the kitchen section. Yes. Super easy. You can see we have a lot of puff files. So puffy Christmas icons, puffy hat, Christmas cookies. Um, this is so like many. all the rage right now yeah. are these like 3D puffy looking files. Very They're really great for like 
Um, sublimation. Sublimation, print and cut, yes. like stickers, cards, things like that. But they yes, are yes, yes. very, very um, trendy right we now. We love it. Hey, Alicia Jordan, first timer. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Michelle Allen, there is so many files. So, so many. Um, it says there's only four pages. That is just completely not true. What? Um, it'll probably pop up more. It just will only show four at a time. Yeah, oh, so yeah. it just keeps showing more and more pages. I want to give everyone a little hacky hack. I like to change my view count from 30 to at least 90, but possibly all. If you load all of our Christmas again, it will take quite a bit of time to physically load due to your internet, all right? So you might just want to stick to say 90 or something like that. Super, super easy, um, so much fun. And then you can also sort by most popular. If you want to know what Christmas files people find most popular on our website, I highly recommend most popular. And you can do this. This one's a super popular happy holiday ornament. My circle letters, Merry Christmas is huge in an ornament. The Christmas countdown is huge. The walking in a winter wonderland is one of my favorites. And spoiler alert, this file, this snowflake file, this happy holiday files, fun little Makers Gonna Learn fact, was part of the first ever Makers Gonna Learn collection. I did not know that. Yes, yes. this uh, Walking in Winter Wonderland was designed by Mary Catherine, first collection launch, Happy Holidays. We, we had files that were all, some of our best files was our first launch. Wow. And then our snowflake pattern released just a few weeks after with a designer named Patrick, who also designed the Makers Gonna Learn logo. That's so, amazing. Fun little, fun little Makers Gonna Learn. I actually uh, just did a inside. project using Walking in a Winter Wonderland, but I, I manipulated really like it. it to where I only use the hat and the arms Neat. for that um, snowman yes. with all the names in yes, it. Yes, 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 yes. So it, this one's really fun. So we'll download this one. If you're joining today for a dollar, great one to download. Let me show you how easy it is. So you're gonna download that zip file. We're gonna head back over to Cricut, and then here's what you need to do. You need to go to upload. You need to go to upload image. And all we need to do here is unzip our file. So we just have the winter wonderland. And all we need to do is double click. It's go unzip. All of your makers gonna learn files is gonna come with a PNG and an SVG, unless it's a print and cut. It'll just be PNG. So we'll drag and drop that SVG file over to Cricut. So easy. Click upload. And then you're just gonna have that little file. So love it, love it, love it. Beth says best investment I ever did. Yes, we love to hear it. Love, love, love to hear it. Now, what I want to show you is how easy it is to figure out your sizing. So let's go overhead. We're just gonna measure with our little tape measure. We are going to take care. Lauren, can you fix your mic? I believe, is that what you were saying, Sadie? Thank you. Um, it was it was twisted. Is it better now? Can you twist it? Yeah, it's been like stuffed in. There we go. <laughs> it, it was just the mic part was, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so anywho, sorry about that, y'all. You just need to measure. So we're dealing with a five inch by seven and a half inch. So we're just gonna grab a rectangle We'll just grab a free shape and we're going to change the width to five inches and the height 7.5. So this will represent the inside piece of our cutting board and you can you know do what you want with this but what it does is it helps you bring this image to the front and then you can size it down to see exactly what it would look like on your project, all right? So it definitely, definitely, definitely helps you figure out if your project is gonna fit and everything like that. So you can size it up, super fun. We can also move these over and you can kind of just take a look and see like, will this fit and things like that. So arrange, bring to front, you know what, we're just gonna do the little walking in winter wonderland because I just love I like I that love one. this one. It's so fun and it fills up the rectangle, which uh -huh. I really like. So size it down just a hair. 
but beautiful. Super, super good. Um, and then, yeah, so that's all you need to do. It's that simple to work with the files. What I want to also offer to you, my friend, is once you've uploaded this file one time, you never need to upload it again. Let me repeat that for anyone here. Once you've downloaded a Makers Can Learn file into Design Space, you don't have to continually uploading those. All right, my friends, you can just search your upload area of the file. So this file is called Winter Snowman. You would just search Snowman or Winter and you would be able to find that file in your downloads. And the way you do that is just click Upload, view all of your uploads, and look. There's this search bar, Search Uploaded Image. For example, I could search Snowflake and see all of the makers to learn snowflakes that I've uploaded to my Cricut Design Space account. So don't feel like if you're a Makers Gonna Learn member that it's gonna always take a lot of time, energy, effort to get your files to in Design Space because that's just simply not true. So I'm gonna delete out our rectangle. I'm gonna have my little walking in winter wonderland here. Super awesome. We're going to click make it. I'm gonna move this over a hair. We're gonna click continue. I'm gonna turn my machine on. We're going to connect to my Explore 3 today. And hey, Melody Williams, no problem. This is like a plastic yes. cutting board. Yeah, it is it, but it's pretty thick. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Super fun. It's definitely one of those that, in my opinion, it's a great decorative piece mm -hmm. for like a gift basket or to give someone, but yeah. it's not like once we put the vinyl on it, it's not going to be like a usable right, cutting board. Right, right, right. Exactly, exactly. So I'm going to use um, premium vinyl removable mat as a setting. We just love to have a few of our tried and true um, bookmarks. Uh, just a few that we love is medium cardstock. We love the premium vinyl. And we also use a lot of sticker paper. So the, when it comes to vinyl, those are some that we use a lot of. And then we're just going to peel this back. This is a brand new mat. I'm so excited. And then we have this holographic-y, you know, glittery vinyl going on here. So Holly asked a good question, um, and it is something that you can do. Okay. Um, she said, can you change the color of the words inside the snowman and keep the hat black and the scarf a different color? Yeah. So you can. But there is a um, way to do that because this is all grouped together. Right. So you would have to um, duplicate it however many colors you want. And then I would go in and contour out yes. like everything except for the scarf. And then contour out everything except for the hat. And then change right. those colors so that they cut on different maps. Exactly. And we have training for that. You know, it's kind of a little bit more manipulative for simple files like this. But Holly, what I want you to know is it's totally doable and I love, love, love that idea. Um, so yeah, it's super easy and can be done. Great question. So we've loaded this into our machine and now all we're going to do is we are going to be able to press the flashing play button. And now is a great time to uh, ask any questions. We're so excited to have you here today. Lauren, would you mind grabbing me some transfer tape? I sure will. Thank you, my friend. Uh, hey, Kathy, no worries. So glad you're here. Love it, love it, love it. There's so many different ways sometimes to manipulate your cut files. And we usually, a lot of our files are more organized by files. This is one of our vintage files from our first collection ever. So throughout the five plus years, you know, the quality has always been top notch. But we've just been able to raise that bar continually. So super, super fun. Let me know how long you all have been members here at Makers Go Learn. Even if you're watching the replay, drop me a comment. Let me know how long you've been a member here. If you've been around three years, four years, five years, or you just joined today, we'd love to see that in the comments. So super fun. I'm going to turn my hot glue gun on so that this is getting ready to go. Do, 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 do. This will not help me if it's not go beyond. Do, 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 that... do, 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 do. Lynn. Let me go grab you another I one. love that I refer to the hot glue gun as like actually Lynn. 
<laughs> Super fun. Hmm. My hot glue gun is just not wanting to participate today. I will say, We've been for having us, issues with one that has a short yeah. in it or something, so try this one. Yes, thank you so much. I would say these have like, if you're using them multiple times a week, like like hardcore, like 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 we do, I would say they have like a year, year and a half until you need to like upgrade. And I'll just that's just like my personal take on it. Perfect. This one's not shorted out at all. So this one's just warming up. I love that this hot glue gun has you know two or three working times. So uh, two or three minutes. Oh, Shelly's a newbie, less than a year. Yay! Jeff's on year three. Woohoo! Melody's one year for me, a year and a half. Erica, Erica, I feel like you've been around forever. Uh, when I cut files, Diane says, when I cut files, I like to put a cut line around my design so it's easy for me to weed and not waste material. Diana, I love that. I just prefer to grab my true control knife. <laughs> and I have to be a little bit more precise with my eyesight, but it's super simple for me. I, I just find it easier, but I love that too. So either way you do, so instead of doing the box and attaching it, what I do is just grab my true control knife and my blade. That's so funny. Oh, we're, we've lost the mechanism. Oh, hold on. We need to unlock it. We need to make shake sure. Shake that one. Just shake it for me. That's why. Yeah, I Something hear it. Something with broke with it. We're going to grab another. And that's a brand new one. Huh. Mm -hmm. I got another one, Lauren. It's fine. We've okay. got the makers. We'll learn exact enough. We're okay. good. So all I do is just use it and just kind of cut my material myself. But as you can see, I'm just having to be way more careful to not mess it up. So you can do either way to get your result there. Um, again, because we want to save this material because vinyl is definitely not free. If anyone knows how to get some free vinyl, hit me up. So I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then now we're just going to weed. And let me tell you, this material is going to give me a, it's going to really humble me, I feel like. So what I'm going to do, if you ever feel like that, if you ever feel like your materials go humble you, mm -hmm. you want to burnish it down. So you can get a brayer, you can get, you know, whatever you want just to bray it down, or you can just grab any tool and just burnish it down. And just like so. So just make sure, you know, it's gonna stay stuck down, and then we're gonna weed this out. So we just wanna grab a corner and then work our way around. Super cool. And again, you wanna go, I would say fairly slow. You don't want to get stressed out or overwhelmed. And if you start getting stressed out or overwhelmed, like, holy cow, this is too much for me, here's what I want to encourage you to do. Stop, grab a pair of scissors, cut off this excess, yes. and then continue. There is yes. no reason to fly through a project weeding, okay? No reason whatsoever to feel like you have to do that. I then like to create a ball and sometimes keep it close by in case like a piece came off that wasn't supposed to. Sometimes so that happens. We have a friend that says they're a newbie. They became a member in July. First of all, welcome. Uh, they finally unboxed their Maker 3, Yay. which is progress. That is a big step. Like yeah, unboxing, a huge step. a huge step. But haven't done any projects yet. Well, this is a fantastic Less project to start Less than $3 investment right here, I would yes. say. Yes. Great project because it's one layer. Use whatever one color vinyl, of vinyl you have. Uh huh. I mean, we just sized it together, so you know exactly how to get the file in there. You know exactly how to size it. You know exactly what settings to do. You're watching me weed it right now, which is just great training. Uh -huh. And I think the more that you all learn just the techniques and see, you know, how we do it, the more that you're gonna feel comfortable to do it yourself. And here's the secret: no one's gonna tell you you are going to fail at times with this process, but that's just part of, yet again, the process. So have no problem. Lauren, how did you put this right beside me? Uh, when I brought <laughs> it in, I set it down. Um, okay, y'all, I literally just, and just discovered us last week. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, y'all, I literally was looking like all over the table for the transfer tape, and it was like right here, and I'm like, 
It's like, I, I can't even see it. I'm like, wait, here it is. It would have totally bit me. That's so funny. Um, so anyway, we're just gonna grab our scissors and we're just gonna cut off some transfer tape. Now, I don't know about you all, but I've been having a transfer tape I don't know, I don't know what to call it, a dilemma? I can't tell you my favorite transfer tape anymore. I I don't have a favorite, and I don't know if that's a good thing or not. What do you think? Like, what do you think, Lauren? What do you mean? Is that good that I don't have a favorite? I don't know. I don't know. I'm using Caesar today, and I just have to be honest, everyone in the office loves it. I'm but just you not, don't. I just don't. I might be like a tried and true like cricket transfer tape guy, and I had got away from it because I fell in love with masking paper transfer tape. I cannot stand masking <gasps> paper transfer tape. Lauren, I don't and you know love why. to save a dollar. I can't. I know, but I it's cannot so stand affordable. it. It's so affordable. I know, but I still I cannot stand it. That's fascinating. I would. I will use Caesar. I feel like I'm luxury and, using the Caesar. I will use Caesar. This stuff ain't cheap, y'all. I will slap <laughs> it on the side of my desk and, and I will use it, for it the whole four day. different times yeah. at least. Yeah. Now that makes sense. I love that. So let me teach you something that I coined like five years ago, which is called the taco method. The taco method is applying your transfer tape down and you make a little taco and you just want to start in the middle. Are you missing a letter uh, in walking? I sure am. And then here's where I get to go grab my little... Somebody just said something in the comments. Oh, thank you guys. Uh, this happens to me. Waking in a winter This winter. happens to me. Could, you could be. <laughs> this happens to me about once a year, and then I have to teach y'all how I can save projects. So I'm either going to save it or it's gonna be waking. Either way today, I am completely fine with the outcome. I have to tell myself that sometimes. So remember, I literally just said, you wanna save this in case a letter comes up that wasn't supposed to. And it happens more times than I would like to admit. And you know what? Sometimes you could decide just to recut your letter. I welcome you to do that today. Because I'm on a live show, I would love to show you how you don't need to do that. Because look right here. Here is my L. All Did right. you find it? Of course. Of course hey. I found it. Of course. That's. This is all part of the production, y'all. I planned for this to happen. So then here we grab our L. Did you guys just see that? I didn't get overwhelmed. I didn't get stressed out. I was joking the entire time. I unraveled my vinyl and I found my little L. Guys, what you don't know is like I planned that whole skit. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, That's totally. That's just a bit you've got on just... going in your head. Just, <laughs> you all just weren't in on it yet. Right, right. We were going to see if you were yeah, paying attention. Yeah, I got to keep you all on your toes. And then look, you're just going manually position the L. Look at that. Look at that. Look. Walking in a wonder, wonder. Winter, in a wonder, wonder. Walking in a, in a winter, winter wonder. wonderland. So easy. So, so simple. And you guys stay down. Beautiful. So now we have a transfer tape. We're doing our taco method. We're going to start here. We're going to let it go out to the sides. You can just burnish this down. Use a burnishing tool, scraper tool, whatever you have, your finger, et cetera. An old credit card. Yes, old, old gift card, old anything like card. that. Super easy. We're going to then go with gravity, peel this back. Again, you would want to burnish yet again just to make sure it's down. Super easy. Super, super simple, y'all. I love seeing how long y'all have been members. This is so I fun. know. Awesome. And then, you know, as you burnish, again, I really did need a scraper, but if you don't have one, you will just figure out, like me here, you have to massage it down a little bit more. This material is very shiny, which makes it not want to stick as much. I don't understand why there's not a burnishing tool on the You're table. You're good. Oh, look, because there's four over here. We in have the four hidden in the studio. Crazy. So then look, if we have this and we burnish all of this down, look what happened. So I was having trouble and it was sticking to the transfer, the backer. I'm trying to peel off. Look at this. Look at this. Beautiful. 
Maybe this is why you don't like Caesar. But see, I don't, I don't think it's the transfer tape. I just think it's the shiny material today. Personally. Beautiful. Yeah. Ta -da! Look at the back. I mean, this is such a good color too. Is that crazy? So look right here. Now we're going to take it. We're going to position it. And we're going to lay it down. Beautiful, my friends. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So much fun. One thing that I have noticed that I saw, like just watching you on the camera do. Yeah. If you're having issue pulling up the backer off of your vinyl and it's like not... A lot of times just changing the position, like if I yes. pull from the bottom to the top, That's a, a lot of times pulling from the bottom up to a certain point and then top down yep. really helps. Yep. I always will do that and I think it's such a hack because sometimes it's just not going the certain way and you're like, you know what, no need to try to change its mind, I'll just change my mind. Mm -hmm. Super awesome. And then... You can see my letters here or not wanting to stay down. I will tell you if I had used rubbing alcohol. I know there's on some this, on the there is some on the table because I oh, did think about grabbing yeah. while I was out there, but then I saw it was on there. If I would have done that, it would have stuck a lot better. But look, it looks so good. Guys, look at the two different ones. The one thing I would say is I'd actually made this bigger. Like seeing it now, I would have made it just a hair bigger than what I thought. Especially this one, it was a good size, but this one was a little, little small, but the bows go make up for it and that's oh, going to be sure. super, super fun. So at this point in the process, what we're going to do is you're going to need, let's see how many strips of ribbon. We have one, two, three, four, five. So we have six, so three of each. Um, and what we're going to do here is I would say these are roughly I don't know, like five to six inch yeah. strips. You know, you can guess. Well, you this. all you want to make sure that you make it a little bit longer because you, if you want to dovetail the ends of the ribbon, exactly. you're going to cut a little bit off. So exactly, about six inches would be good, probably. Yeah, I would think so. So we're just going to grab six of these, and again, I don't even know what you would call. I think Alicia calls them rag ribbons because you so just fun. grab them together and either yeah. add some wire in the middle and mm -hmm. then they just kind of fan out themselves. Yeah, it's super fun. So I'm just gonna mix up the positions of all of these a little bit. So I kind of just mixing them up. And then once you've mixed it up, what you can do is just bring them together. I just wanted them to be evenly out. What I'm gonna do at this point is I'm going to, dun, 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 is going to add some wire. That's kind of what we do. You don't have to do the wire because you could just rely on the hot glue. That's definitely up to you. Just gonna leave that there, definitely up to you. And this wire from Dollar Tree is so cool because it has this like clip in it. I is actually think it so came cool. from. I actually think it came from Hobby Lobby. But oh, I think you it can did get come it from Dollar Hobby Tree. Lobby. But for two ninety nine, I would pay for this little. I know. That's really cool. Yeah. That's really really cool. So, we're just gonna kind of hold our finger on it, try to bring it in here. We're going to find our middle. And the way you can find the middle would be to just take both of these and just be sure that. That's kind of where it's at. Here we go, take it and twist. Diana is loving this project. Yay! I love I think this project everyone too. Is. It's so easy, y'all. So, so easy. Nothing hard about today's project. Super simple. And then we can just kind of cut that off, fold it down. Super awesome. What we'll do. Shelly says Dollar Tree has it in the garden section. Yeah, Perfect. okay, I thought so. I thought so, Shelly. And it, Thank you so much. It's, we have so many different things. Like, I can't remember <laughs> what comes from what right. store sometimes. Oh, yeah, it happens. It happens to all of us. So, what we're going to do at this point is we're going to just add the, we just need a little uh, ribbon here to cover up our wire. Super easy. And, oh. I totally cut that wrong. Here we go. 
So we just need our little one to cover this up. Super, super simple. We can flip this over around back and we're just gonna glue it down. Let me know if you have any questions about this project. Again, it is quite simple, I mm -hmm. would say, but that doesn't mean that you couldn't have good questions, especially regarding Dollar Tree or anything. The hardest part is going to be this ribbon for you guys. Oh, a thousand percent. And but notice it's, I mean, the way that you do these. It's just an extra portion. But the way you do these, like, is just that there is no perfect way. Right. There's no way that's like, oh, I didn't do it like Tanner or oh, I didn't do it like, you know, they wanted me to because there is no perfect way. Mm -hmm. That's what I just really want to hit home. And you guys know I don't do I don't like doing a lot of bows. So this is one that like even I feel really com confident with just because you can't really mess it up and I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So glue that down, adding some more Lynn Lily hot glue. I will say this hot glue gun was the first mini hot glue gun I'd ever used. And before that, I didn't know how much, like I just used to hate hot glue because it was so messy. But now that I have a fine point mini hot glue gun, it changes the game. Did you say we could use heat transfer vinyl on these? No, I would not use heat transfer vinyl because this is plastic. plastic. Mm -hmm. Great question. So then look, we're just gonna start fanning out our ribbons and you just wanna kinda of like stretch it. So like this, you know, we just start stretching these out as much as possible um, and start deciding, you know, how stretch out we want this to be and things like that. And the good part about this is you can use like a little dab of hot glue to mm -hmm. get the uh, ribbon to stay, get the exactly ribbon to stay exactly where, you, where want you want it to be. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do here. You know, we're gonna start with the last one and the top one. And we're gonna glue, you know, these down and then we'll be able to position our other two. And the cool part is after you've positioned these, guess what? We'll trim the, you know, do the dovetail and trim it. So there's nothing really that's not forgivable, if you know what I'm saying. Like if it, you know, is too low, guess what? We can we can trim it. So don't feel like you, you know, don't have room for flexibility here, because you totally do. All right, super easy. Again, y'all, if you're just tuning in, we have our membership on promo this week for only a dollar. Mm -hmm. So you can join, try out the membership today for only a dollar, super crazy, super, super crazy deal just for you guys today. And it's one of those things that if you have been a fence sitter, let's say you've mm -hmm. been a fence sitter for a we while, love fence sitters. Um, this is the time to go ahead and try us out because we don't always do dollar deals. Yep. Um, but like I said, there is literally nothing anymore I feel like you can get for a dollar. Five cents a download. But you get I mean, 20 downloads. On. I used to be the type of person that I didn't realize that before I worked here um, and I was using die cutting machines, I was going and purchasing all of the fonts that I wanted to use. I was going and purchasing files. That hurts my Didn't heart. realize that there was a membership for this. And it was like, so when I came in, I, it blew my mind. Yeah. And the fact that you can get tw like five cents a download, 20 downloads for a dollar. And if you just and leave. Fonts included. Yeah. After, <laughs> if you leave after the trial, like before the seven days is over, like you get to take those, you know, files that you um, download it. So like you get those forever, which is super cool. So anyway. So somebody asked about, would it be the same to use wired ribbon? Um, wired ribbon, I probably would just position it where I wanted it. You yeah. probably wouldn't have to glue it down. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. And then now what we're going to do is start trimming these down. And what I'm going to do, y'all, is I'm, instead of doing, so you can do the dovetail. I would have probably have done the dovetail before gluing it. Since I did already do it, I'm just gonna do like kind of edged. So I'm okay. just gonna trim these down so it's super easy. AKA, I also sometimes accidentally do inverted uh, <laughs> dovetail yeah. and it happens to me all the time that I do it incorrectly. So again, I'm just trimming these down so it'll be super easy for us today. But I'll kind of talk to about what the difference would be. And Donna made a great, um, 
Yeah, she made a great comment. And and plus, if you do decide to stay a member, you get new cut files monthly and new fonts. Oh my gosh, we have hundreds of new cut files every month. We have a huge library of fonts that are added to constantly. Um, so yeah, you're set up, plus you get the, you know, the member portal where you get access to all of our teachings and things like that. Now, I would say be specific that you pay attention to how long one side is because I think I started trimming this side shorter than this side. So again, forgive me. So funny. Um, Love it. So good. So again, you could trim this down. You can make it as much or as little as you want. It doesn't have to be super perfect. You can see you can trim this down super easy. Obviously, this one's way better than mine. I love that they left some just as is. If I did this again, I would have not glued every single one. So I think I should have just looked at the inspiration. So when you guys do this, follow this one more. So like take a screenshot of this one. I'm not even gonna show you mine. Um, take a screenshot of this one so you're like, okay, glue this one down, hair glue up here, bada beam, bada boom. You're go rock it. But here's the cool part, y'all. Only like a dollar or two. Y'all, Tanner's bow is not great and that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> We have to know sometimes what's better and what's not so great, and that's okay. So again, I'll tell you one thing I am not good at is bows, and I think that's so fun, but I know that about myself. <laughs> <laughs> we all had to be a little self-aware. I could have called in Lauren and it looked a lot better, but I wanted to really show you the more you do it, the better you're going to get and the easier it's gonna be for you guys at home. So it's super, super fun. I would love to see if there's any other questions related to this project. Cause again, so easy. You can use either um, specialty material. I wanna invite you guys just to check out new specialty materials to play around with as you gear up for the Christmas season. I think it's super easy to incorporate them, um, you know, in Christmas projects, like specialty material, glitter, things like that. Super, super easy and super, super fun. So we're just so excited to be here and get to hang out with you guys today. I cannot believe it. I mean, we made this project start to finish in less than 30, 35 minutes. Yeah, and like, that's with crazy. a lot of talking in between. A like, lot of question and answer. Uh -huh. if it we talked about the files. Mm -hmm. If it would have been something that you were creating yourself uh, this is a five minute project, mm -hmm. 10 minute at most. Yeah. Megan also says, I'm glad that Tanner isn't amazing at everything. He really is human. Yeah, he is guys. You're so funny. He really is. You know, there's a few things that I feel like, I'm, like we were having trouble with the printer and I just connected it to the Wi-Fi. That's something I can handle. Tanner you know can what do I mean? that. When, I get, <laughs> when me and Courtney get frustrated to the point that we're just like, we're just gonna plug our computer straight into the printer. Tanner oh, is really good at coming so in and fixing I'm our I'm like, tape wait, machine. what's what's wrong? They're like, it, it oh, won't print. No. <laughs> yeah. So it's super fun. That's what we've got going on. Y'all, we're hosting our first ever live event this Friday. We are. We're doing it and I, we really downplayed it and I'll just be very frank that we, like when if you're one of the like 20 30 people coming it's supposed to be very intimate yeah i'm really really excited for that um for like a more intimate smaller group for our first live event i hope it goes so good that we're like oh my gosh we of course would handle like 200 300 and we would have other opportunities in the future to host all of you yes um, but we're hosting for our inner circle attendees and what's super fun is we're doing advanced training where i'm kind of talking at a deeper level on a lot of like selling your craft projects. I'm kind of showing like four different avatars of the people we see in our program. So we're really talking about, you know, people who sell to their friends and family, people who sell locally, people who, you know, sell on social media, people mm -hmm. that, you know, have an Etsy shop and really helping you guys like go to that next level. So if you're not a part of Inner Circle, we will have more opportunities to join, I will tell you, there's a super, super awesome offer linked to your $27 workshop. Yes. The Recession Proof Your Side Hustle Workshop mm -hmm. has an incredible, you know, upgrade opportunity if, if and when you're interested. It's available over there. Um, so I'm super, super excited and it's so much fun. And yes, if you are already a part of Inner Circle and you can't make it to the live we, event, it's doing it can, virtual. We'll have hundreds. Virtually. Yeah, hundreds live. of people will be live on Zoom virtually. Yes. So we're going to do, just in case you're an Inner Circle member 
and you want to come, we will be sending out the link, number one. And number two, I am literally like making it a priority that we give just as much importance to Zoom members uh -huh. as in person. So right. we'll do like 50-50, like Zoom coaching and in-person coaching. I've segmented like each class because we have quite a few. We're filming new curriculum for Inner Circle at the event. Um, so we're doing that and letting the coaching tie into it. So if you're attending virtual, you're still going to have a great, great um, time. So yay! Um, so we had a couple questions. Donna, you will be getting the Zoom link. You don't have to email customer service. Yeah, we'll but be if you want out. them to, email them. They'll send right. it to you. Super easy. Um, and you also may need to go ahead and check your email. You may have the link yeah, in your email already. Double check. Um, we also had a question. How is Inner Circle different from, I'm assuming, Ooh, I love that. MGS. I'm assuming that's Maker's Going to Sublimate. Mm -hmm. So Maker's Going to Sublimate is a course all by itself. Yeah. It is strictly just talking about sublimation. It is a one-time purchase. You purchase that, you have it for a lifetime. So if you purchase it today, then you get all of the updates that we do forever. So those new updates that are coming out on the 9th when we do the price increase, you get those for yeah. free, or uh, basically for free. Like you don't have to pay Love that it. higher price, um, but you have a lifetime access for the Yep, to you get that. all the updates, everything included in that one enrollment fee, yes. which is super, super awesome. Like we're finalizing all the new files getting added uh -huh. to the program, everything. There's going to be hundreds. I think there's 300 being added on top of the already 200 yes, plus. Yes, for sure. So crazy, crazy, crazy. It is so, so fun. And so then yay. Inner Circle is a, yeah. it's a membership oh, as well. She meant Design Make Sell okay. versus Inner Circle. So oh. great question. If you have purchased We've sold Design Make Sell like over 3,000 times. Yes. If you have bought just the course, you have the curriculum, mm -hmm. but you don't have the coaching. Last December, we merged a coaching program meets Design Make Sell. So we incorporated that with the thought that so many were buying the curriculum and not taking action. You get inside of Design Make Sell Inner Circle support calls you know throughout the month you get a lot of community access we use a mm -hmm. platform called circle now where you get like real life support mm -hmm. get to network it's so so good and it's super awesome i had a customer email in and say tanner like i really regret purchasing inner circle i wish i bought design make sell and that was really fascinating to me because as I talk to this customer, and you all know, like I'm very involved in customer service, just to monitor and see what you need, they had not took care of and like jumped into the curriculum. Mm -hmm. And they're like, but uh, you know, I only have three or four more months. And I'm like, you have three or four more months to take action and get a result in your business. Right. You know what I mean? So there's a deadline, you know, you join for a quarter, join for a month, join for a year, and we are here to get you to take action because you just investing the money and getting the training, here's the secret. It's not gonna work if you don't work. Right. And that's what we're here to do is just help yep. people get results. So that's why it's a coaching program because so many were trying to buy it and never take action. Yep. And we don't like that. So it's and to give them all the support. There used to be levels years ago, there yeah. was a Design Make Sell and then a Design Make Sell Pro, right? We used to sell, listen to this alert, we used to sell design make or make or excuse me or sell uh -huh. and then we did intermediate advanced pro so the, it, it's, it's just it's, simplified yeah so there's <laughs> no longer levels if that's what you're thinking yeah. of don't yeah. get confused there's no longer levels and there's also no way to purchase design make sale anymore unless you purchase it previously right without getting inner circle yeah it's just inner circle love these questions just because there's so much clarity i know a lot of you have been around for years so you've watched these programs evolve and pivot. Mm -hmm. And what I just want to reiterate, if you're a small business owner, you need to watch how we pivot here. Right. But <laughs> I think it's very important, the art of the pivot. You know, you need to be able to know when something's working and when something's not, uh -huh. right? You need to know that. Super, super fun. Diane says, that was me. I never took action. Very sad. So Diane, here's the deal. If you bought Design Make Sell Pro and you have the lifetime access, you have two options. You can say, I bought it and I have it forever, so I need to take action and build my own plan. 
-hmm. or you're like, well, I don't even know what my plan could be, you probably need to upgrade to Inner Circle. I host a coaching call um, once a month, and then we have our community manager host a coaching call. We have a designer hosting coaching calls. We have other life coaches hosting coaching calls to help you get unstuck. So I would encourage you to upgrade to Inner Circle. Email customer care will take care of you. Get inside of the program. If you sign up by Friday, you can come to the live event. So just email customer care um, and let us know if there's any questions. Um, so we're super, super excited. So um, we also have Anne ask about the sophomore year call. <gasps> it's call, not tomorrow. It's tonight. It's tonight. Here's why. Yes. <laughs> we had to move it up a night because Alicia's out. Me and Lauren are going to be like hands on the ground at our event center tomorrow night. Yes. Getting ready. So we moved it to tonight at 730. Yes. You can hop on Zoom with me and Lauren and get mm -hmm. your sophomore year module two questions answered. Yes. So fun. So, so fun. So yes, uh, for Diane, just let us know if you, you know, you can attend the live event on Friday if you enroll by um, Friday and we have a special promo uh -huh. going on. So just email customer care, they'll hook you up and it'll be super, super fun. Oh, Beth says the coaches are really good. Y'all, we only um, take really good care of our coaches. So super, super fun. If you have any questions about what, let's say you are an Inner Circle member yeah. and you're paying monthly, but we have, like Tanner said, we have this like special deal going on. If you have any um what am I trying to say? Uh, custom, like Cust specific, specific questions. Specific questions about your account. Yeah. Email customer care and they yeah. can help you. Yeah, especially for Kathy. You know, we would need yeah. to take a look at your account. Again, right here is not the best place to get like the perfected customer care. Uh -huh. We can't look at your account. But right. guess who can? Our customer care reps. Yep. Uh, Janine, Noel, they're awesome and they're available seven days a week. Or not just them, but our entire team. So That's super, right. super fun. Can't wait to see you guys at the live event on Friday. It's going to be a lot of so fun. Excited. If you need anything in the meantime, reach out to customer care and we'll cannot wait to see these, see you make these projects because they're so much fun. They are. All right. Thanks so much. I hope you guys have a great one. We'll see you back here next week. Bye, Bye. guys.